I hope you guys see all of this. This is a full day of eating for the Titan. Now you guys ask me all the time, right? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing to get sliced? It's not about getting sliced. It's about setting your body up correctly to get sliced. And that's the off season. We are in the off season. We are gonna put on that muscle. We are gonna make sure our bodies are functioning at 100%. I want a metabolism of a 19 year old. I want the muscularity and feeding it and recovering it like the very best I've ever been in my life. This is the new Titan. The reason why I really wanted to, and, and the team also said it to me, is we want to make sure you guys understand wholeheartedly there's things that we have to do in the off season to set yourself up to win. Remember when I talked about the cardio? I got in shape because I didn't do cardio. Remember some people took the video and they, they put it for what they wanted. The point is, if you were always doing cardio, diminishing returns, we know that. We know that those guys are just morons. They don't fully understand you can't do cardio all year. You need to build muscle. You gotta build muscle, you have to recover. You cannot be a workhorse all year. You have to be smart. This is one of the main reasons why those guys can't keep it. That's why they deteriorated. That's why they were maybe even in shape for a moment and then lost it and can never get it back. I'm not wanting that for you guys. For you guys, I want you guys to be at the most pinnacle level throughout your life, okay? I don't care if you're 15 or 75, I need you to be great. This is it, take a look around what we got here. <clears throat> so we got basic stuff we got ground beef you guys are eating that we got some bacon oh my gosh these are duck not duck eggs but it's all we had today we got rice we have collagen we have bone broth we have all my juices these are great, and these are reasons why we're setting our bodies up to win. We got two gallons of water over here. We got more. We got our protein, obviously. We got granola. We got milk. Oh my gosh. Overnight oats, right there in front of you. We got oils, a lot of MCT. We got uh, flaxseed. We got col We got so many things. Why is that? Why do we have so many? I get it. You guys get the, the, the proteins, we gotta build muscle. We get the carbohydrates in here too. That's the energy, we got the fats in here. Why did I pick this stuff? Let's go through some of this stuff and why I picked it, okay? These are the key points. One of the biggest things is, when you diet for so long, you shut your body down from working correctly. Now, if they don't tell you that, if, if, if all these other Instagram experts don't tell you that you're wrecking your body when you're dieting down, they're lying to you. Because what you're doing is you're working out so much, right? And you're starving your body and you're working out and you're starving your body and you're working out and you're starving your body. That's what gets you in shape. And that's why it's such a short period of time. The rest of the time, you've got to heal the body. This is healing for me. This is getting my body to build the muscle back that I lost when I dieted down. This is about fixing the joints and ligaments, making sure I'm in a surplus of calories. Why are these good? Juices. Now we've talked about this. Stan Efron talks about this all the time. A little thyroid action there, get that going. Make sure I get some of my good sugars before I train. Bone broth, love it. Um, collagen, love it. Simple carbohydrates like rice. Now you guys know I'm always a wheat germ kind of guy. Um, and the oils this year is a lot more for me than I've ever done before. Why? I guess some of it's just kind of age. Um, I wanna really feed not just the muscle, but everything else between the muscle, all that connective tissue. And a lot of those healthy fats and oils are really great for that. One of the best things about it is, yeah, you can feed your muscles, but I would do a 70-30 split on your proteins, just pure muscle building proteins and collagen and other proteins that will help your connective tissue. Um, here's another great thing too. I am mixing it up for the first time. Mona will tell you that when I diet, I'm the kind of guy that just does the chicken and rice or the steak and rice, keeps it really clean and simple. Not this year. This year, I'm gonna be enjoying some of my meals. 
Um, that's why we got the Titan burrito, something that's easy. Now that I have a son, Mona's not always with me, making sure my meals are ready, everything's prepared for me in just a precise time. So I wanted to create some stuff that's easier for me to eat. Overnight oats, could never miss, three o'clock in the morning. I get home from the gym by six, I have my burrito, easy enough. These are so simple and taste incredible. So for the first time also, what's really cool is that I am eating and it's tasting incredibly well. So that's kind of a nice touch to this. Here's the biggest thing about this. The biggest thing about this is, what am I doing to set my body up to win? That's huge, that's huge because I can go down to zero fats. I got no problem with that. I can go down to 50 grams of carbohydrates. I got no problem with that. And anybody can get in shape dieting down like that. If I'm always at that level of 50 grams, low fat, fish, just fish for your proteins, your body shuts down. Now, over the next three, four, five months, look at this food and then I'm gonna force my body to utilize that food and utilize this calorie intake. So remember when you guys are getting older, or I hear this all the time, well, you get older, so you gotta eat less, you gotta eat less, you gotta eat less. Again, this is another reason why you don't see a lot of guys do what I've done. You see them because they do allow their body to override what they should be doing. Oh, I don't lift heavy anymore, I'm, I'm just a snowflake, I can't do it, it's not good for you. It's the best thing in the world for you, it makes your body stronger. They're just weak. Why am I eating this? I'm eating this so I can make sure that I can still get in shape at the end of the year when I need to step on stage. I need this so I force my body to utilize the calories, good calories, calories that will heal the body, make me better, bigger, and stronger. That's what this is doing, setting my body up to win. I can't, I can't express enough, and I write it down. I know Jeffrey's gonna ask me about that, and I'll go back to that in a second, but. <laughs> I can't express enough that you've got to force your body to work. Yeah. Now, because I dieted so long last year and stayed in a deficit so long, I wrecked myself a bit in the sense of we all wreck ourselves when we diet down. That's why you see these bodybuilders explode back up. The girls especially blow back up after their shows because they worked everything off. They didn't diet it off. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't allow the body to do it. They force their body to change. So why don't you do it on the reverse? Why don't you force your body to use calories? Force it to take in high calories. And that's what we used to do back in the day, but people are so scared of that nowadays. And that's why this year, I'm gonna get in the best shape of my entire life. And I'm so excited. I know you guys can tell I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this because we put this together on the Titan meal plan which I'll show you guys, easy enough to do. But we did this in a way that going, I'm gonna push it harder this year than I've ever done before. Ever before. I'm gonna take in more protein, I'm gonna take in more fats, I'm gonna take in more carbohydrates than I've ever done before and make sure the body utilizes it. And I'm gonna be smart on my training to where I don't kill myself every day in the gym. That's another thing you guys gotta understand. When the calories come up, the workload must come down. Well, why? You're taking in more calories. You can work more. That's not longevity. That's you thinking that you can outwork the next guy. You can't. You can only outwork yourself. And until somebody tells you that, until you realize that, which is hard to do, I admit it, it's hard to do at 20, because at 20, you think you can outwork everybody. You can't. You can only outwork yourself. And then you set yourself up to fail later on. Why? Because you're training two hours a day like a moron. Get in there. Do the right stuff you need to do. Feed the body, recover, go back in the next day and do it again. It is about every single day. It is not about how hard you train that day. It is about how hard you train for that year, every day consistently. All right, what do we got here? Run me through your meals. I'm gonna run you through these meals. Um, overnight oats, first thing in the morning. That's a breakdown of 753 calories. 75 grams of carbs, 17 fat, and protein 75. Great way to start the morning. I get up, it's really easy, it's in the fridge, and it tastes incredible. I take it about half an hour before I get up. It's just in the fridge? It's in the fridge, right in the morning. It's just, <laughs> it's just It appears, I open the fridge, it's there. 
I don't know how it got made. I don't know what what uh, person did this for me, but it is there. Okay, that's pretty simple. All right, let me go. Meal two is the Titan. All right, we've got 50, 30, 50. The great thing about that is you're done with your workout. Again, guys, around your workouts, before and after, if anybody out here does fasting training, unless you're getting ready for a show, unless you're trying to peak at that last moment, you're wrecking yourself. Your biggest meals are before and after the gym. That's not even an argument. Nobody with a moderate brain will argue that point. That's when your calories are, before and after. Okay, next thing. Let's go. At this time, I am home from the gym. I have my burrito, which is a pretty quick meal. And depending on how I feel, I usually eat about an hour later, okay? With the burrito, I do have an, a juice. Here's my juice. Pineapple, eight ounce, four ounce, four ounce. All right. Um, and this is something also I'll do either before or after the gym with another pre-workout to keep me fired up through the day. Um, great juices, spike the metabolism. Uh, again, get that insulin in there, get your body going and recover. Again, great thing about this, I'll come back around is where I'm setting myself up to win. Because right now what you're doing is you're going, okay, this is what he eats so he can build muscle. Watch what it's doing for later on. Okay, next meal. <clears throat> I do a uh, two shakes during the day. Shakes combine a lot of stuff in it. Got my two scoops. Um, I get my collagen, uh, some peptides. I got my bone broth and I got my milk during this time is when I do do milk for my drinks. When I'm getting ready for a show or something, then I'll just do water. So again, another cut of calories, but setting myself up now. Bones, connective tissue again with the milk, which is great. Bone broth, obviously, same thing. You got two more meals. That's your pre-workout shake? It is sometimes for the second workout, if I do a second workout. Shake one, that's right. Shake one and shake two. Well, what's in that one? Um, so we got a couple different things. That's right, I mean, calories. Oh, calories, calories, sorry. Jeffrey got all this just printed out perfectly. Okay, 540 calories on both of these. Uh, carbohydrates is 70 and 50 for, there's two of them. Uh, fats are 16 and 11 and proteins are 70 and 60. So there's additional stuff in it. You got the protein, you got the milk. Uh, collagen has uh, some protein in it. Peptides, bone broth has uh, protein in it. So there's a little bit more added stuff into those things. It's not really that fatty, but my fattiness comes from my flaxseed, wheat germ, coconut oil, MCT, and some more flaxseed liquid as well. What do you do? You put that in the shake? I add that to the shake too. Yeah. You don't. Jeez. You don't sit over the counter and. Okay, I do sit over the counter because I don't want it in the shake because the shake tastes so good. This is not the most great tasting thing in the world, but you guys have seen me do it. Another meal. Ready for this one? Eight eggs and some bacon. Again, eight eggs. It's usually duck eggs, but this is all we had today. When we went out and got those uh, organic, That's right. That's fake natty bacon. eggs and some bacon. Again, this one's a big meal in the sense of calorie intake. Uh, eyesight here. Carbs, nothing. Fats, 46. Protein, 66. Again, some good with the cholesterol. Some great, and we will talk about cholesterol and what you guys are missing on that aspect in a future YouTube video. And we're gonna talk to a heart specialist about that as Mona's eating cookies over here. <laughs> All right, two more meals here. This ground beef is incredible. Um, I'm gonna go with fattier ground beef as we go through this stage. Right now, I think they're around four, mm -hmm. but we can go up to 15, and I may go even higher than that. That's eight ounces plus a half a cup of rice, and we will keep trying to raise that rice up to a cup, if not a cup and a half, as we go. Let me give you the breakdown on that. Grounds, uh, 27 carbs, seven fat, and 54 protein. So we got this huge meal. 
we got these carbohydrates, we got these juices, we got milk, we got granola, we got yogurt, all these oils, whole eggs, bacon. Jeez Louise, that's a lot of stuff. Now, when the body utilizes this, pay attention, this is the biggest thing you guys are missing when you do nutrition. If the body utilizes this food, right, when I'm off season, I'm getting stronger, I'm building muscle, um, and the body utilizes it, so you feel good through the day, and you're like, oh, I am getting stronger, I'm getting bigger. You're not getting too big. I don't want you to get too big. I don't want you to go 350 pounds, but I want you to build some muscle. And then you get to that time where your body's like, okay, I'm getting used to this. It's like for you guys, if you're, if you're doing a 500 squat, and you do it for four weeks, and you're getting stronger each week, and by that fourth week, you're like, 500 on my back doesn't feel like much. Same thing for food. You're gonna to get to a point where you're like, okay, wow, I ate that meals. It's 4,200 calories, but at the end of the night, I'm hungry. That is telling you your body is utilizing it. Now, what is it not utilizing it? You start blowing up and you're just stuffed through the day and you feel sleepy and tired and, and the workouts are slow and you're gaining all this 10 pounds in two weeks kind of thing. That's too much. So there's that fine line that you gotta find it and that's why the Titan meal plan setup is perfect for you because we keep track of that every two weeks. Now, I get to the point where this is comfortable for me. Holding the body weight, it's not changing. I'm still getting stronger. That means I'm building muscle and my metabolism is fired up to a certain point to where it's functioning correctly again. Mike, how do you keep doing this into your 50s? This is how. I'm not running away from it. The snowflakes run away from this. Oh, I'm, I'm 35, my knees hurt and my shoulders, I'm gonna go real light. Done, the person's done. They will deteriorate away so fast. I've seen it my entire life. This is hard, I get that. But I freaking love this stuff. And I love that I treat my body correctly. What did we do just the other day? 225 pound uh, tricep extensions. Um, which people don't even do after 30 years old. So we're feeding the connective tissue, which is more important than the muscle. I don't care how jacked you are. If you're not healthy, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm keeping my metabolism up so I can hang out with Mona. And I'm also taking my workouts down to where I'm building the muscle, but I'm not destroying myself. So now what happens? Well, the meals are functioning. I'm working out less. How easy is it to get ripped? You missed that part, didn't you? Because all you're thinking about is this. Oh, that's a lot of fun, I don't wanna do this. I set myself up to win. Cardio, I didn't do in the off season, so I could do it when I got ripped. If I did it all year, it doesn't work as well. If I dieted all year to an extreme deficit, it doesn't work as well when you get ready. Now I just set myself up. I just dropped my whole eggs to egg whites. I dropped the bacon. Still getting in 50 grams of protein, healthy meal, less fats, less calories. Tighten up. Maybe I dropped a couple of the oils. Maybe I dropped the two, the OJ cranberry, I'm keeping the pineapple for Mona. You, you so that's- You that how it doesn't drop the burrito though. I don't drop the burrito <laughs> yet. But each time I drop something and clean it up just a little bit, I get tighter. I bring up the cardio a little bit now that I'm dieting down. See the reverse? Wasn't training much, eating a lot, eating less, training more, sliced. That's why I could do it every year. That's why I'm not giving up. That's why I don't want you guys to give up. And I want you guys to understand this, okay? Um, the last thing I'm gonna leave you with is this. <clears throat> the understanding that if you're eating healthy and your fish and your broccoli and stuff, that's okay, that's great. But if you're trying to change your physique, if you're trying to get better in time, it's better because we're all gonna age, we're all gonna deteriorate. It's managing the decline. I'm gonna fight against it. I'm gonna push as hard as I can to keep doing this. I'm gonna keep teaching you guys to do this that way I'm basically the age of your grandparents. Understand that. 
because most of you will never be as strong as I was when I was just 15. Why is that? Because you're listening to the majority of society on the internet, which is painful. It is painful for me to see something that I believe in wholeheartedly, training and eating, is getting destroyed by a lot of Instagrammers or social media, or guys that were a moment on stage and then they talk about like they know everything. If they're still not there, if they're still not making it happen, if they're still not something of themselves, they're not being able to teach you because they can't do it for themselves. I need you guys to start doing this. Start doing it for yourself. Tighten meal plan, get on it today. Let's freaking make this year the best year possible. So for you guys at home to understand this, uh, I am about 285 pounds, 290 pounds right now, and I'm eating 4,600 calories. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Mona's never been happier. I'm excited. You're getting how many calories? What did you say? 4,600. Oh. Um, I have a question for you. Yes. Can you give me three tips on Ooh. how do you know when metabolism is working? Great call. So Moni just said something that's brilliant. Yeah. What's the size? What's the size? So I'm eating 4,600 calories, right, right guys? Right. And there's probably guys out there right now that are maybe 200 pounds and 25 years old mm -hmm. eating more than that. That is incredibly, and that is great, and I love that. So calorie intake, there's a, there's a funny thing about this. It doesn't go off of your size and muscularity just like you think it does. There's a great gift or a great starting point. It's a great starting point to go, hey, I'm 6'3", 285 pounds. Where should my calories possibly be? Okay, and it's going to give you a kind of a range, right? And then we start that range. And now this is what Mona was just asking. What is something that's saying it's working or not working? Working is that I'm not gaining a lot of weight on that calorie intake. Okay, that's one of the biggest things. Um, if you're getting a little bit heavier because you're first time eating six or eight meals a day, whatever it is, that's okay. But if you start getting five to 10 pounds every couple weeks, depending on your size, it's too much. Okay, back it back down a little bit. Just take off about 250 calories, 250 calories off of that. Stay with it for another two weeks. Another great sign is hunger. Hunger is a great sign. Um, as you go through the day, I want you eating every two to three hours depending on your schedule. And then on top of that, notice if you are hungry going into your next meal. That's a great sign that your body's utilizing, utilizing everything. Now again, if you're just starting this stuff, there might be a chance that you're stuffed before the next meal. I want you to give yourself a couple weeks of eating. Remember when you go, oh, I'm just eating all the time, I'm stuffed all the time. There comes a point where your body kicks in because it wasn't trusting you before. And then your body kicks in. Usually happens after 10 days. It's a pretty cool process how your body starts trusting you. And after 10 days to 14 days, your body will start burning it. Even though you're eating the same, you'll start getting hungry. That's another sign that your metabolism is working. Ooh. Waking up in the morning, it's a beautiful thing. It's a good sign on what's going on with your body. You wake up hungry, you are flying. Your metabolism is working beautiful. Now, you wake up and you're not that hungry. You just want to go train. You don't want to eat anything. It's just too early. It's not saying your metabolism is not functioning yet. If you're on the plan and you're staying consistent, it may mean your body just hasn't kicked in yet. Don't run away from this. This is a tough one. Don't get up in the morning going, I'm going to skip my meal. I'm just going to go train and then I'll eat. Continue the pattern of getting up eating and going to train. That's a very key point that you gotta do. Stop reading the internet and what they tell you about fasting and everything. You're gonna fade away, you're gonna get hurt, you're gonna shrivel away. Listen, in time, we're all gonna lose this, right? A little bit every year, fight against that. Keep trying to put that calories up. Keep trying to fight upward, don't go downward. Now you're done. Anything? I hope you guys understand this stuff. And I'm, I'm doing this because I love it. Why not just share this information with you like Billy Gunn said last week. I know this 
information for the majority falls short because they just want to believe there's a hype game to it. There's a trick to this. There's not, there's not. This is a consistent thing. This is a thing that we gotta stay in the day, do the very best we can each and every day. If you slip up, get right back to it. Don't beat yourself down, just get right back into it. And then the biggest thing is, erase the noise from the outside. You've gotta erase this stuff. You gotta erase it from the guys that are just moments of, of doing something and they keep posting their pictures from 30 years ago. Don't do that. Stay with the guys that are consistent. Go to the guys that have done this before. Go to Robbie Robinson, see what he did. Watch what Arnold did as a kid coming up. These are great things looking at your elders. It's a tough thing, I know, because you guys, most of you youngsters, you 20 year olds look at 20 year olds. They're not gonna teach you anything. Look to the older ones and learn what they did right and learn what they did wrong. We've all been in this game a long time and we're just gonna share this knowledge with you guys. Enjoy it, get started. I wanna see the majority of you in the Titan crew starting next week because we have check-ins. I will make sure that you are on the right calorie type. I will make sure you're training right. The percentage of training, the sleep, the water, the supplementation, we will get into that next time. Right now, it's all about the meals. Enjoy your day.